Sonia from MadeEveryday.com. We have sewn a lot of circle skirts, and many of you have asked how to create one with an enclosed waistband. So, let's do it. I love sewing circle skirts, and they work great for any season. They're fun for spring and summer in this lightweight fabric. They're fun for fall and winter in this heavier buffalo check fabric. They are quite versatile. And in my previous videos, I've shown you how to make one with an exposed elastic waistband like this, which is really adorable. But what if you don't want to have your elastic showing like that? Well, that's what we're gonna do today. So here's what you need. Some fabric and elastic. The key to your circle skirt is creating the circle skirt pattern, and I've gone over that in detail in my previous video, but I'll share some basics here with you. Basically, you're creating a quarter of a circle. You're gonna place your fabric, fold it into fours, and place both of these on the fold so that when you cut it out, you end up with a donut of fabric. So for my daughter, her waist is 23 inches around, and I decided to add five inches to that, which is kind of an arbitrary number, but I want the waistband to be a little more gathered than the typical circle skirt that I've made. So 23 plus five is 28, divided by 6.28, I ended up with four and a half inches for my radius, and that's how I created this first circle right here. Then I decided how long I wanted it to be and created my second circle. Okay, so I think we're ready to cut out. I have this folded here in fourths, so I have one fold up here and I have another fold over here. Place that on top. I'm gonna grab my favorite little tape dispenser weights. I use tape a lot when I'm creating pattern pieces like this, so they just come in handy for many different purposes. Okay, and then just start cutting it out. You can use a rotary cutter if you think that's easier for cutting fabric out. You can trace it onto your fabric. I just like to use my scissors. Okay, set that aside. We're gonna use that for our waistband piece. And then let's cut this out. Okay, set these aside. Set our pattern piece aside. And then let's check out our donut here, our buffalo check donut. There we go. It works! Okay, now let's talk about the waistband for a second. You might be thinking, well, why don't we just fold the fabric under like we have done on a simple skirt to create our casing for the elastic? Well, as you know about convex and concave curves from your math class, that doesn't always work because look what happens as I try to fold this over. It's creating quite a problem. I have either too much fabric or too little fabric. So instead, we're going to create a different piece for that. We're gonna cut a long rectangle of fabric, sew that to the circle, and then we can string our elastic through. So let's cut our waistband piece. I've got all my cutting tools here. I'm gonna grab this extra fabric, and I wanna cut a strip of fabric that's 3.25 inches wide. Now, how did I arrive at that? Well, I have one inch wide elastic, and I need my casing to go around it both times. So let's do one and a quarter inches for each side. Then I need to have a little seam allowance that gets fold under, so that's a quarter inch for each side. Now we're at three inches. And then I'm just gonna add another quarter inch to give a little bit more wiggle room. So, if you were using two inch wide elastic, you would need to make adjustments for that. Okay. Before we attach this to the skirt, let's prep it for a later step. So start by pressing each of these edges under a quarter of an inch. I love steps that make later parts a little bit easier. It's always helpful. Okay, now to the other side, a quarter of an inch. We're gonna use a quarter inch seam allowance on this skirt, which works great when you're working on curves. It makes it, like we were talking about, easier for the fabric to lay properly around the curve. Then we're gonna fold the whole thing in half and press it that way too. Like that, and give it a good press. If you need a little steam or a little water on here to give it a nice solid crease, go for it. Okay, now we can attach it to our skirt. I have my circle of fabric and I have the waistband piece here. 
And my fabric doesn't have a technical wrong or right side. If yours does, you need to pay attention in this step. You wanna take the right side of your waistband and attach it to the wrong side of the skirt, which I know sounds a little wrong in your brain, but what will happen is that the waistband will fold over and eventually end up on the right side. So start in the middle front of your skirt and you wanna unfold those creases we just made. Those are just memory creases for later. Take a pin and pin it in place and then you're just gonna slowly work your way around to the back of the skirt. Now when you get close to the back here, I'm just gonna stop and leave that tail there. We added some extra fabric so that the waist piece is larger than our circumference here so that we have a little bit of wiggle room to attach it at our sewing machine. Now I'm gonna go around and do the same thing on the other side until they join together. Okay, here's that little piece here. Now I am gonna pin it just so I can see exactly where these two meet up. Let's see. Right about there. Okay, then I'm gonna pin these together. So that I know that I'm going to sew right along here when I get to my sewing machine. Let me pin it all the way down. And again, nice that I'm using this plaid. It kind of just creates lines for me. If you were using kind of a busier print, you could draw a line there or you can just place pins like this. And then I know that I'm gonna sew right along where these pins are right here. Then I'm gonna take out these other ones so that I have just a little extra room there to get under my sewing machine and sew that part in place. Okay, let's go to our sewing machine. I'm just threading my machine here and I am using my Baby Lock Joy Machine, which I really love. It is a great entry level machine, but it's also powerful and easy to use, great for traveling. So I just want you guys to know that you don't need tons of bells and whistles when you're getting started sewing or if you need a new machine. This one does everything I need, which is fantastic. Okay, we are going to sew first down that end of the waistband piece. Okay, and then I'm just gonna follow along the line that my pins are making. Okay, now before we trim any of this off, we wanna just pull it back and make sure that it fits, which yes, it does. That looks really good. So we can trim off this extra tail here. There we go. Cut off some extra threads here. There we are. I like doing my waistband pieces this way just because it makes it really precise. And if you cut it a little too short, you're not in a bind. It just gives you a little more versatility. Versatility. Okay, now we're gonna sew all this around. So come back to your machine. And you can see this crease right here, this memory crease that we made. I'm gonna sew right along that. That will give me a quarter inch seam allowance. As I sew, I'm gonna use my left hand to just pull this out of the way. And back to the beginning, do a back stitch. Now turn your skirt right side out, which I know on my fabric is a little hard to tell. But you will see that once it's right side out, this waistband now wants to turn over and creates a right side looking waistband. So we're gonna pin that in place right along those creases, those memory creases that we made earlier. And we are going to pin that in place as well. And you just wanna make sure that it goes right past this stitch line that we already sewed in the previous step so that it's covering that. There we go. Now let's pin this all the way around and we are going to leave a two inch opening in the back of the skirt, which is where the elastic's going to come in and out. This fabric is 
really fun. I'm just already picturing, in fact, I wish this was my skirt. It's for my daughter, but I can picture it with cute little tights, a sweater, maybe with some boots or some, you know, ballet flats. Lots of options. I might need to make myself one. Twinsies, is that too much? Okay, here in the back is where I'm gonna leave that little gap. And I'm going to mark, I like to do double pins just so I can remember that that's where I need to start and stop. So I'm gonna put two pins there and place two pins over here. Then when I sew all the way around, I'm not going to sew that part. Okay, everything is pinned in place. Let's go back to our sewing machine. Start at your first double pin, come over to the machine, and then we're gonna sew as close as we can to that edge without going off at the edge. I'm back to my other double pins. I'm gonna do a back stitch and cut this here. Okay, now we're gonna grab our elastic. I'm using one inch wide elastic and I cut it 20, 23 inches. That's the size of my daughter's waist. I've attached a safety pin at the end and we are going to string this right through the little opening that we left. Place it right in there. Then we're just going to push it around till it comes out the other side. And you really want to make sure that your elastic doesn't get twisted up in there. And when we get further around, we're going to secure the other end of the elastic with another safety pin. Let's pin this one right here so that it doesn't somehow go right through our skirt. I have done that before. But with this flannel fabric, it probably won't do that. It's kind of a little snug in here. Just keep pushing through, shinning down, adjusting. And if it's not pulling through, when you get it through to the other side, it will eventually pull all the way around. Here we are. Pull my elastic out. Again, making sure it's not twisted. Undo this one, pull this end out, and then I'm gonna overlap these two about three quarters of an inch. Right like that. Come back to our sewing machine and let's sew that together. I'm gonna switch to a zigzag stitch here. Then I'm gonna bring this down and just sew back and forth a few times. Maybe we'll do a second line of stitching too. Okay, so spread that all around and see how cute our skirt is looking. Now all we have to do is pull this and sew that little opening closed. So come right back to your machine. Make sure you go back to your straight stitch and then just sew the opening closed. You need to pull the fabric a little as you're going to make sure that all that elastic is straight here or that the fabric is straight under the elastic. Okay. Final step, we just need to hem our skirts. Let's go back to our iron. Fold your hem over a quarter of an inch and press it in place all the way around. And I find that a more narrow and smaller hem on a circle skirt works better than a really wide hem because of the curve. Now press it over another quarter of an inch. And 
and I like to just use my left hand to kind of guide it as I'm going. If you find that you're having a hard time with this, I have a video you can watch that shows another method for hemming a circle skirt. Just do whichever works for you. Now let's sew it in place. Okay, let's see how it looks. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. I love how bouncy it is. This enclosed waistband looks really nice. Oh, I hope my daughter likes it. And I definitely think that I need one for myself. Okay, for more ideas and tutorials, check out my website, madeeveryday.com. And for all of your sewing machine needs and to check out the Joy Baby Lock machine, go to babylock.com where it's all for the love of sewing. I will see you next time. Bye.